What is going on guys, Greggles TV. Welcome to update number 16 of the Galaxy Note 7 Recall. Now, we have some cool stories today, some stories that'll make a lot of people happy, especially people that do not have the Note 7, but wanna buy it. Samsung is announcing that they are gonna resume sales in South Korea starting on September 28th, which is a week after the Americans get their replacements for the Galaxy Note 7. Now. Everyone else should resume sales around then or a week or two later. So we're looking at the end of September for sales to resume for the Galaxy Note 7 and then maybe falling into October as well. Very good news for Samsung and everybody that's looking to get a Note so you don't have to wait too much longer before you can get a new phone. As for the replacements, still September 21st is what I'm hearing. Some people have said uh, that their carriers are gonna get it in the 19th, but ultimately we should all have our replacements no later than September 21st. Next up, if you have a Galaxy Note 7 and you wanna check the IMEI number just to see if it is recalled or if it's safe, there's a website I'm gonna link in the description down below. So all you do is go to that website, put in your IMEI number. I'll give you the instructions on the screen right now so you can figure the way to get to your IMEI number. You input that number and it'll tell you if your phone is being recalled. Obviously, every phone that's in the world right now that's a Note 7 is being recalled or has been recalled unless you've already received your replacement. But if you buy a phone in the future or you buy something used and you just wanna see if it's safe or not, go to this website, put in your IMEI number and you'll be able to tell if it's safe or not. And lastly, Samsung is being sued by a guy named Jonathan Strobel who was burned by his Galaxy Note 7 on September 9th, which is a week after Samsung did their unofficial Note 7 recall. Now, he should have a case against them because they didn't do the official recall until after September 9th. So we'll see how that case turns out, but it's troubling for Samsung to be getting sued by somebody because obviously, obviously if he wins or somebody else goes after him, they all seem like they could have a case against them. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any news or tidbits, leave them down below. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace!